Hi, this is Poorav Gandhi. Welcome to the Future of Health series by HealthArc Insights. The topic of discussion for this video is blockchain in healthcare. Now, blockchain, with the emergence of cryptocurrency, has emerged as a topic of discussion and highlight. It is a secure way to generate transactions as well as exchange information over the internet. Um, however, its application is not just restricted to cryptocurrency, but it has applications across various industries, including healthcare. For example, with its providers and payers segment in healthcare, it can be a very efficient way to share medical records and perform various functions around claims, pre-authorization, authorization, transfer of documents, etc. in a secure way. Within life sciences, it has an application in the clinical trials area where it brings in immutability and transparency in terms of clinical trial data. Same way within supply chain, it again has an application in terms of improving supply chain visibility, preventing counterfeiting, faking of drugs, improving traceability of medications in general. So blockchain overall has a great application in terms of generating four or five key advantages. The first one is it helps improving the sharing of data. It improves interoperability of data. It generates transparency. It improves security of data. And lastly, creates immutability of data. And hence, there is a case to be made in terms of continuously investing in blockchain in healthcare. However, blockchain is new. So it's not easy to adopt blockchain. You can't be an independent adopter. There are challenges around scalability. There is also a challenge around adoption at the ecosystem level because if you or I have an independent blockchain solution but it does not interact effectively with the rest of the ecosystem, the solution sometimes is not as useful or the end purpose is not met. The next big uncertainty around blockchain is cost. It is anticipated that blockchain will be expensive, at least at the initial level. Moreover, it's not certain how the costs will optimize when use of blockchain happens at scale. Same way, there is no regulatory certainty or defined guidelines around use of blockchains. Now there are emerging regulations with consortiums and others playing an active role, but it's still not as clearly defined as some of the traditional technologies. And lastly, data standards are again not very clearly defined. And hence, while blockchain promises to improve interoperability, some of it is not very clear today. But blockchain is the future and hence every organization needs to be blockchain ready. What can we do today to be blockchain ready for tomorrow? First and foremost, it's important to participate in key consortiums which are framing the guidelines and the structures on how blockchain will implement be implemented in future. If you are not a part of it today, tomorrow you have to accept whatever you receive from those standards or guidelines. So it's important to be a shaper of these guidelines. Second. In general, participate in these ecosystem level conversations because that will keep you aware of where all blockchain is being implemented, where all is it being experimented. Third, be future ready. Invest in terms of experiments, invest in terms of frameworks for implementing blockchain in the future. Identify what are your future touch points with external organizations where if they adopt blockchain, you need to be ready for it. For example, if you are receiving data from CROs and CROs adopt blockchain tomorrow, how will you receive that data in terms of performing the analysis on that data? If your supply chain vendors or partners are going to shift to blockchain, how will your organization be ready to absorb and digest that information? So prepare for that, experiment, innovate, build a structure around blockchain because it's coming, it's going to be there. It's just that, that Timing of when it will be mainstream is yet to be defined. Thank you for watching this video. Would love to engage more in terms of a discussion on blockchain. Our next topic will be around miniaturization of medical devices. Stay tuned.